My name is uh, Steve Laragakis. I'm a family doctor living here in uh, Surrey, BC, and I uh, grew up in, in Vancouver. Four months ago, I developed uh, enlarged glands in, in my neck and had some tests which uh, showed that I had uh, a uh, very rare form of lymphoma called angiolymphoblastic uh, lymphoma. Uh, there are only a, a handful of cases that uh, have been uh, identified in the world and, and uh, the, the treatments uh, haven't been well defined. I went on three courses of, of chemotherapy with uh, partial response but not a complete response and uh, now I'm on a new medication that uh, has given me uh, a pretty good remission. My doctors tell me that the only cure for this uh, type of lymphoma is going to be a stem cell transplant. A stem cell transplant uh, requires that cells from a donor uh, be given to me to replace the disease cells that uh, my body is, is uh, producing. The, the way that a, a stem cell transplant works is, uh, is that um, a donor needs to be found that's compatible and this uh, donor system uh, has been started uh, in uh, many countries in the world. Most, most countries in the world have, have a, a system where people can register as a donor and uh, thereby give, uh, give cells to somebody who is in need. When we first started this process we tried to, matching with my brother and sister, who are, the, are my closest genetic matches, but unfortunately their, their uh, cells didn't match mine and were not compatible. So now we have uh, looked to the worldwide registry where there's approximately 30 million people who have uh, uh, generously decided to uh, give a sample and be registered to, to, the, to the marrow registry. Out of those that 30 million, uh, one person has uh, fortunately looks like a, like a matched to my marrow and uh, they have to still undergo some further testing uh, to, to know if my transplant can go ahead. But uh, at this point it's looking quite uh, positive and, uh, and I have a date uh, scheduled tentatively for, for early uh, September. Nonetheless, uh, as, uh, as a backup, I still uh, may need other stem cells or I might need a, a second transplant uh, if the first one doesn't take. And for that reason, we're continuing a drive in, in the, to uh, look for uh, a, a match, in, in, particularly in the Greek community, because uh, that is a community that uh, is more likely to have a match. We would like uh, you to uh, uh, consider participating in this event. Thank you. I understand that this whole concept of stem cell transplant or bone marrow transplant and donation is somewhat intimidating for, for most people. In, in the vast majority of cases, um, stem cells can be donated and the donation of, of stem cells is no different really than uh, giving a, a donation of blood. Uh, it's just taken from, from a peripheral vein and, and uh, put into a, a, a vial and uh, that's as much as the procedure is. Uh, there, there, there is uh, um, a couple of injections uh, that are given prior to the procedure 
to help stimulate the stem cells but uh, that whole procedure is, is really uh, very, very easy. Bone marrow transplant has, has uh, intimidates people, but no person would be asked to give their bone marrow uh, unless they wanted to. The stem cells is actually the preferable route, and, uh, and you would never be asked to, to go through the larger procedure unless that's what you wanted. If you did go through bone marrow uh, donation, that does require uh, a, an anesthetic and, uh, and a, um, uh, a period of recovery for, for a day or two afterwards. It's really a very simple procedure and you'd never be asked to go through a procedure if you didn't want to or be asked to go through a procedure that's larger than, than uh, you felt comfortable with. In the past, uh, the only way to, to harvest stem cells was through the bone marrow, but uh, with new technologies in recent years, uh, the stem cells can be easily taken just from a peripheral blood sample. So this makes it so much easier and we hope to expand the, the registry of such stem cell donors throughout the country so that anybody who, who needed stem cells uh, could obtain them easily. People with lymphoma and leukemia and, and many other cancers and many other conditions require uh, blood products t in order to uh, stay well and sometimes uh, they require as a, as a bridging uh, procedure while they're waiting for their stem cells or, or for some other procedure. Uh, so myself, um, I, I was at one period during my um, my illness, uh, I was quite sick and, um, and I required uh, a blood transfusion uh, and in total uh, throughout the, the last three months since I became ill, uh, I've received about uh, eight units of blood and about four units of platelets. So many people who, who uh, want to help others uh, in, in, in this kind of situation can be extremely helpful by, by donating uh, blood and platelets. And uh, it's, a, it's a very simple procedure. You can look up uh, Canadian Blood Services in your community and, and uh, drop in and uh, it takes you uh, just a half an hour. And those products are extremely valuable and appreciated.